wonderful day. I'm a mom, I'm a health educator, but most importantly, through struggles of my own, I found solutions that I'm excited to share with you. And today I wanna to talk to you about setting up your home workout gym space. So a lot of us have stopped going to the gym during this last year because of the illnesses, but um, have you set up an effective home gym that really helps you crush your goals? Now, I've moved quite a few times over the years and I've learned over moving again and again what really worked well for me and as I help my clients as well set up their gyms, what usually helps us to stay focused and make the most of the time that we give to exercising. So here's five things that I recommend that you make sure that you have in your home workout space so that way you can get the most out of your workout. First of all, you want a way to plan your workout. You want a way to keep track of your progress. I did a video on the Hormatic Effect. I'll add a link to it here in the comments, in the description, um, where you can actually chart your progress on a graph. The studies say that if you're keeping track of your workouts, like on a calendar, and you're putting an X on each day, and you start a streak of days that you work out, and you're doing good, you're staying on your track for your plan, then you're going to be less likely to get off track because you don't want to break your streak. So keeping track of your progress, either making sure you're doing your workouts or making sure that you're doing the reps that you're committed to doing, keeping track of your progress is really important. So is planning your workout. So I posted about the seven things that I think are important in a home workout for full body exercise and fitness, um, including stretching, arms, core, legs, and cool down and cardio. So you wanna make sure that you are planning for each one of these things or something is going to be missed. So that's how I usually start on my whiteboard is what am I going to do for each one of these groups? What stretches am I going to do? And trying to vary it up if I didn't do a stretch yesterday, I didn't have time to do everything, to make sure that I do it today. So first of all, make sure that you have a way to track and to plan. Number two, you wanna make sure that your equipment is easily accessible. You wanna make sure that it's in your workout area and not around the house. If you're going to be working out, like say water jugs, you know, a lot of us start with non-gym equipment for our fitness and that's fine, but make sure it's in your workout area. Otherwise, it's really easy to get distracted and off track. I love this box that I had a friend make for me. And I'm sure you could find something like it. It's a box with my exercise equipment in it, or at least some of it. And it also doubles as a step box for those exercises as well. So either put it close by in a closet or put it in a box. Just make sure that it's accessible and in your gym space. Okay. Number three, we need to have tools of feedback. We need to know if we're going to be doing our form correctly and if we're going to be training incorrectly. So a lot of us have these little muscle imbalances and we don't even realize it. Now, if you have a coach, if you have a trainer with you at home, every time you work out, that's great. And they can tell you what you're doing incorrectly and help you fix it. But most of us don't have a coach or a trainer every day that we work out, which is why it is so important to make sure that you have some mirrors in your gym. Okay, a lot of people are missing this and they're kind of weird about looking at themselves when they're working out. But let me tell you as a trainer, most of you, most of us end up doing a, a lift with one arm not in line with the other one. We're training our muscles incorrectly. This is going to affect things like our skeletal structure and gets out of alignment and all different kinds of problems can continue from there. Whereas if we had a simple feedback system where we could see what our form looks like, we can correct that and help retrain our muscle imbalances. Most of us have muscle imbalances just from being right-handed or left-handed. So don't make it weird. Just get yourself some mirrors. Okay, so we got the way to plan and record. We have the equipment. Uh, another note on equipment, make sure that you're having equipment for cardio and for resistance training. You wanna make sure you target the arms, the core, the legs. So if you have any questions about what kind of equipment you need for that, you could check out my channel, Lifestyle to Thrive on YouTube or message me, 
send me a question and I'd be happy to cover that for you. Um, you could also use, of course, the great outdoors for cardio. I have a running track in my yard as well as an exercise bike to make sure that I get my cardio in. Heart rate is important. All right, the next one is, and the last one, oh, I'm sorry, number four out of five, is you want to have a space that is inspiring to you. You want to have a space that is going to be welcoming and that calls to you. So I'm a big fan of backdrops, as many of you who follow me know, and I find backdrops to really bring an environment into my workout space where I want to be there. I'm a really big fan of the backdrops. The backdrops are really beautiful. I'm a nature lover. And so having the backdrop gives me a nice meditation space as well. A uh, really interesting article, um, this one's in the Journal of uh, Frontiers in Psychology, talks about how having something green can really help with the workout. So it says, studies have shown that a walk in nature can reduce anxiety. Even just looking at photographs of greenery for less than one minute can give you a mood boost. Spending time in nature reduces stress and helps people feel energetic and more alive. So that's really important when we're working out. We want to feel energetic. We want to decrease our stress. This is all health promoting. So um, I love nature. And so I use a lot of nature backdrops, but you have to find what really motivates you. So if you are a baseball player, you're going to want to put baseball uh, posters up maybe. If you are an ice skater, then it's going to be ice skating and on and on. So find the reason for why you want to be fit and then surround yourself with images that inspire you in that area. Um, you also want to make sure that you have some music. Like, did you guys know that if you have a rhythm playing, it will actually sync with your heartbeat. Your heartbeat will sync to the music that you're listening to. This is a cool thing that I learned in martial arts where we start our competitions with a drum, bum, 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 bum. It was to prepare our heart rates for what was coming in the competition. So you want to make sure that you have um, some some music going and I have a little speaker here I can use but most of us use our earbuds but make sure that's prepared beforehand so that way you can stay motivated and inspired number five you have to make sure you're staying hydrated in your home gym especially as we're getting into the cooler winter months it's more difficult to make sure that we get enough water every day because we don't feel thirsty but when we're exercising, most of us are breaking enough of a sweat that we start to feel thirsty. So this is really important to replenish our um, water and, and our electrolytes, which is why I really love our complete nutrition system. We have a hydration and electrolyte product that's no artificial colors, no artificial flavors or sweeteners. It has vitamin C and B complexes and it tastes great. I, I love the orange flavor. So make sure that your uh, workout area has some way for you to be replenishing your fluids and your electrolytes. All right, so one more time, five things. We wanna make sure that we have a way to record and plan. We wanna make sure that we have the right equipment available and we're not gonna be running around trying to get it there. And we want to make sure we have a feedback system, some kind of mirrors or something, so that way we are using our form correctly and we can correct ourselves if we start to get off track. We wanna make sure that we're staying inspired and motivated, surround yourself with art, surround yourself with images um, to, that are interesting and motivating to you and stay hydrated. So if you guys don't have uh, amazing nutrition, message me. I love to help people start their wholesale accounts and help them to really enjoy the benefits of having clean nutrition from this nutrition system that I love and coach with. Please like, please share. I would love to hear from you. I hope this brought some value to you and your training. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a lifestyle to thrive. Bye-bye. <laughs>